A lot of you have been asking me where I get my artwork from, and the truth is, is that I make all of it. Yeah, all of it that is painted, because I really love abstract artwork, and I don't have the budget usually to be able to afford the really, really expensive, nice ones that are made with real paint. So I started my little DIY journey on creating some of my own artwork a few years ago, and I don't necessarily feel like I have like any major tips and tricks. I just kind of throw paint at the canvas until I like what I've got. So what I usually do is I have some idea, some realm of an idea of what I kind of want. And I like my pieces to have layers. And that's a really good thing because I mess a lot of them up. Yeah, a lot of them. So most people would start with a blank canvas for a project. A lot of times I'm starting with one that I had an idea in my head and I just didn't like the way it looked. So I'm gonna paint over this. And you can get deep and philosophical if you want about all the layers of life and how you just paint over them and create something new or continually being recreated. Or you can just realize that, hey, this is life. Uh, sometimes you screw up and the great thing about paint is that you can paint over it. But the one I was gonna show you how to do is I think the one that you guys usually ask for is the one that's um, white and black and they're kind of blended together. So I'm gonna show you, it's a couple step process only because it has to dry. Um, you can't do it all at one time. So you have to be a little bit patient. But I've got a drop cloth down. This thing has been abused to the ends of the earth. Um, and I, I kid you not, I grabbed the cheapest paint that they have at Michael's uh, should we start with black? Let's start with black. And I just take this and if I haven't made it, I've plugged the hole up. Okay, just gonna take this and I'm gonna zoom you in a little closer so you can see a little bit more of what I'm doing. It's nothing crazy special, but I'm just gonna be moving the paint around. So let me move you in closer so you can see more details. What I love is that when I stage a house or if I'm working with a client and they don't have a big budget for art, we can make our own artwork and make it awesome and something that they enjoy and I enjoy and I think that's kind of fun, isn't it? It's very personal this way. So you can make it any color you want. You can make it neon green or purple or anything you want. The sky is the limit. It's your choice. And I think that's what's so fun about it is when you create your own artwork, it can be extra special and extra you. Okay, so as you can see, I have literally just blobbed a whole bunch of paint on here, moved it around. You leave lots of bumps and layers and it just gives it that kind of like cool layered look. You can always take some of that out if you don't want that. Um, I think the original one I had didn't have quite so much on it, but I've grown to where I kind of like that thick clumpy look. This is probably gonna take a full day to dry. So this is not, a very very quick project it does take a couple days to get it done um, but it's gonna be totally worth it so I'm running out the door and I thought if I don't get this extra coat of paint on here it's gonna take forever you guys see Louie is hanging out with me keeping me <laughs> keeping me company sorry I'm kind of blocking him hey cutie pie hey cutie pie okay so all I'm doing is I've given this good 12 hours to dry and I'm just gonna paint this top part white and then the fun part will come after that. But these paintings are something that you have to really kind of build on, so don't be in a rush. Um, but the main thing is, is that you just need to paint the bottom white, which it seems kind of funny to paint the bottom white of something that is already white, but you just have to. Because you wanna have some texture and you can achieve that on a blank white canvas. So I'm again, just kind of Flopping some paint down as you can see I did this other one as well so you can see two different examples and I just take that paint and I'm gonna let these dry. I'm gonna run and do some errands and get some stuff done. A little bit of work, a little bit of fun, 
and Mr. Louie is gonna guard these paintings until they are dry, and when we get back, then we can really have some fun splashing and making a mess. I think I've managed to not get paint on myself, which is just short of a miracle because I normally do. Don't really suggest <laughs> not putting paint clothes on. However, I think I've managed mostly, and I will be back in just a little bit and we can wrap this thing up. I'll see you then. Okay, the day is winding down and my paint is pretty much dry. Yeah, it's dry. So I have filled up got one empty cup and I've got one cup that's just got some water in it and I am just going to put some paint down in the bottom Let's start with white I just think that it's so much fun to put black and white together but you know you can make this any color that you want and really make it your own so feel free to do that I've just got a, a blob hopefully you can see that a blob of paint in there and hopefully it's not too dark. Sorry if it is. They is uh, slipping away. Um, so I'm just taking some of that paint and putting it in water where it's just wet. This is the part where it definitely gets messy. So this is a good time to have your paint clothes on and to really cover your area. And I am just lightly tapping here, getting all that paint to splatter on. So definitely be prepared that this will go everywhere. A lot of times I have paint all over my arms and it's all over my sleeves and that's what makes it fun, right? Getting dirty is half the fun of painting. We are so close to finishing this project and I'm going to wrap this up. You can probably hear tea bags boiling for sweet tea. My little munchkin right behind the camera. Here, you can come on in. Um, I am going to use the same water for the black probably wouldn't go the other way because then of course the black would bleed onto the white but I am just going to throw a blob <laughs> <laughs> sorry my stomach I'm showing everybody how I make my paintings and how I just blah 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 I actually don't really I don't really know how to do that so I just tap, tap she actually tap, taught tap. me how to get um the cool feature where it looks like water is dripping down a paper. All you have to do is tilt it against something and then get wet paint and then just kind of drizzle some paint on it. That's water. true. Maybe we'll do a video for that one next if everybody likes this one. You guys let us know if you would like more videos of us doing our own DIY abstract art. Is that funny? She is a... Every, everybody was asking how I made that, where they could find that painting. Oh, Louie. Louie, you're making so much noise. I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna put some really great after shots in there for you so you can see it hanging somewhere in my house. I don't know where it's gonna go, actually. These will very likely become pieces that I will use for future projects for clients. Um, it's just nice to have a piece of artwork like this that you can use to stage your house or to decorate it. So um, I hope that you have enjoyed this little process and um, that you will make it your own and have a lot of fun with it. Oh, don't forget, visit us at houseofvalentina.com where we will have more photos that are pinnable so that you can um, pin them and remember those ideas. That's where I put everything. Where do you guys store your ideas? Do you use Pinterest for that? Don't forget to subscribe and like. Oh, yeah, that too. All right, we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye. You like lots of dab? Can you show us the dab? <laughs> It's two years old, so I should probably stop. Oh, it's no, it's actually like, three years old. Oh, it's just old. Huh? Yeah, I should probably stop before. How's that? Now that is perfect.